uh, passenger vehicle players have trimmed their guidance for the year, projecting a slowdown in demand and escalating tariff falls. What position does that put you in as a supplier? Is there worry for future orders? Uh, no, we have a very solid order book. Uh, uh, so I, uh, we are not worried about that. Whatever the trims and things that, that could be done uh, can be taken uh, with a pinch of salt because uh, two weeks ago, uh, most of them had given a positive guidance. Now you're picking up particular reports which might say that they are giving a negative guidance. So all these things are happening. Uh, it's a fast-changing world. and uh, but we have no uh, no issues on, on the audit book or anything of sort. General, if BMW believes that the market will slow down, that will also apply to an Audi, a Mercedes, and also to JLR. So what BMW may be calling today could be a trend in making. So the audit books, they look good today. But you know, if, if the cycle reverses or there's a slowdown, deterioration automatically could happen. Sure, Mukund. Uh, the uh, thing is that, you know, uh, one month guidance and a quarter guidance vis a vis a long term project uh, where, uh, you know, a model is launched and those kind of things are there. There's a little bit of a difference between the two. Uh, incidentally, two weeks ago, uh, BMW had come out with another press release where the volumes were actually up. I think it was uh, 174,000 cars. Uh, which was increase of 3.2% in August. And the year-to-date sales were up almost 1.6%, 1.7%. So it depends upon which uh, news you want to read in the morning. <laughs> uh, you know, that's what I admire about your business, that it's been consistent and how irrespective of the disruption or dist disturbance in the global market, your sales have been solid. So how would you say that uh, 2018 so far has been different from the first half of 2018. I mean, the second half of 2018 from your standpoint has been different from the first half of 2018. So, Nikhil, thanks for asking that question because uh, that, let me put the whole mother son in perspective to you. Uh, let's say you are assuming that um, uh, the, uh, the time is a bit tough or something like that. Uh, the markets are tough, okay? Uh, that many more opportunities for us to uh, uh, take over companies. Now, uh, our growth has never been uh, uh, related to the car market, how much they have increased their sales or things like that. Our uh, growth has always been based on uh, acquisitions and things like that. So 10 years ago, whatever acquisitions that we have done, have brought us to this particular situation here. Every year we pick up one or two or three companies depending upon what the customer is asking us to pick up. And that is the growth engine of Mother Sun. So whether the market has gone up by 2% or 3% or come down by 2 or 3%, it, honestly, it does not uh, really... Uh, 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 we, we, we drop the market to keep going up, but there will be uh, things and all that, you know, what will happen. But uh, uh, for example, in BMW, we are only selling in Europe. In Europe, the numbers are looking very good. We have no issues of uh, uh, this thing from them. Why they are giving the guidance, I think they are the best people to answer that question. Uh, second point which I wanted to explain to you is that we have a very clear focus which says 3CX15, which means no country, no company, no component more than 15% of our turnover. So. In such a scenario, you know, which model, where, what weakness has come, it's crazy for us. We would never be able to figure that out and, and, and come up with this thing. We are uh, in acquisition mode. We've been acquiring companies, and uh, uh, that's the way to look at Mother Sun, I think.